everyone. We apologize for the delay. Thank you so much for tuning in today to join us in thanking and honoring our military men and women. We are excited to bring you a special live Veterans Day service from the beautiful Valley Forge Memorial Gardens through our Bayada Hospice Media Facebook page. You can like and follow our page to stay informed of any future events. Also, this service is being recorded and will be posted here with a link later this afternoon for anyone who would like to watch or share. To all of our veterans tuning in, we thank you with the most grateful hearts. May we never take your service, bravery, and sacrifices for granted, and may we never forget what we have because of what you and others have lost, sacrificed, and fought for through both peaceful times and through war, both overseas and here on U.S. ground. While many realize that Veterans Day is a day to honor our veterans, few realize the historical significance behind this day. Veterans Day originated as Armistice Day and marked the end of hostilities and conflict of World War I. This means in 1918, on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month, an armistice or agreement to end hostilities was declared between the Allied Nations and Germany, then known as the Great War. One year later, the day's observation included parades and public gatherings, as well as a brief pause in business and school activities at 11 a.m. Later in 1926, Congress passed a resolution that the reoccurring anniversary of November 11th, 1918, should be commemorated with thanksgiving and prayer and exercises designed to perpetuate peace through goodwill and mutual understanding between nations. Years later, in 1954, November 11th became a day to honor American veterans of all wars, and at the urging of major U.S. veteran organization, Armistice Day was then renamed Veterans Day. Today, we continue Thanksgiving and hope to again perpetuate peace and understanding through prayer, song, and remembrance. Please join our music therapist here in singing the national anthem and America the Beautiful.
And now for a poem entitled The Best on Earth, a Veterans Day Tribute by Joanna Hughes. If someone has done military service, they earn the title veteran and more. They earn our deepest respect and admiration. That they are so special, no one can ignore. They sacrifice the comforts we enjoy. The list is long of all the things they gave. Our veterans are extraordinary people. They are loyal, dedicated, and brave. When terror and invasion were real threats, they showed us they could handle any storm. We owe our freedoms and our very lives to our veterans who served in uniform. Our veterans should be celebrities. They are exceptional. No other group compares. We are grateful for the many things they have done. They are always in our hearts and in our prayers. We owe our veterans support and friendship. Let no one ever question what they're worth. These men and women served us and our country, our veterans, the very best on earth. We'd like to welcome our director of our Delaware office, Amanda Bailey, with Dr. Lang. I'd like to now introduce our incredible Delaware Bayana Hospice Chaplain, Major Dr. Lang. She is the first woman to serve as a chaplain in the history of the Delaware Army National Guard and is the 261st Theater Tactical Signal, Signal Brigade Chaplain. Major Dr. Lang is also a prolific pastor, professor, mother, grandmother, and remarkable Arthur. Here today with a special message. Thank you, and welcome to our Veterans Day celebration. So on behalf of all of us, we say happy Veterans Day. So why do we gather this afternoon, this morning, as we move into afternoon? We gather to celebrate the life of all of those members, service members, who put on the uniform. They put on the uniform, and they've stood to serve their country. So we honor you for those who have died, for those who have been injured, whether it was physical, mental, emotional, or spiritual injury, and for those who have lived to tell the story. We honor you today. So we honor you because there's a power in your yes. You have said yes to service, you have said yes to sacrifice, and you have said yes to stand for peace. So there's a great man who used to walk the earth, and he said these amazing words. He said, I did not come to be served, but I came to serve. So when we serve, we give up what we want, so that other people have what they need. So that is why these men and women all over the world have on these uniforms and they're serving their country. Next, they want to sacrifice. That same great man, he said, I lay down my life for my friends. So as service members, we lay down our life and we give up and we sacrifice. We sacrifice time with our families. We sacrifice time with our friends. We sacrifice our sleep. We sacrifice our sanity sometimes. And that's for one thing, because we love our country because we love the people of this country. And finally, we stand for peace. So I hear you saying, what peace, right? So peace in our hearts and peace in our minds and peace in our communities and in our language. So all those who stand, who have survived, those who have gone on before us, all those who continue to wanna to serve, we say thank you for your sacrifice, thank you for your service, thank you for standing for peace. Now, what does that have to do with you? I'm so glad you asked me that. I'm about to tell you. How can I bring peace to myself and to the people around me? Well, like a little pebble in a pond. It's a ripple effect. So peace starts with you. You will have to be intentional about having peace in your heart and in your mind. And just like a smile, it'll become contagious. And as you extend peace to yourself, then you extend peace to your family. And then your household becomes peaceful. And then your household goes and shares that with another household and then they become peaceful, and then your neighborhood becomes peaceful, and then your neighborhood goes to another neighborhood, and then your community becomes peaceful. So maybe you can't have an impact on peace around the world, and maybe you can't have an impact on peace in the United States, but you certainly can have an impact right in yourself, right in your home, and right in your community. So as we stand today to celebrate veterans, I encourage you to be peace, to extend peace, to talk peace, and to live peace. There's an ancient tradition and an ancient faith. And in that ancient faith, they have what's called Namaste. 
And Namaste says, the divine in me sees and honors the divine in you. So on this day, I say to you, Namaste and Shalom. On behalf of our entire team with Bayada Hospice, Dr. Lang, we thank you for your service to our nation. Thank you for the sacrifices you have made and your willingness to serve our country. You have endured hardships while willing to risk your life to maintain our freedom. We also thank your family. For your family have sacrificed as well, and they have made the commitment to support you through your service. We do not take this lightly, the freedoms and privileges we have today because of your bravery, unselfish service, and sacrifices made. On behalf of myself, our team here today, those joining us, and Bayada Hospice, please accept our deepest thanks and gratitude. When you see this pin, know that we thank you for your service to this country today and every day. We support you, we respect you, we thank you, and we are so very proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> We'd like to invite everyone to join us in singing our Armed Forces Military Medley, the United States Army. Over hill, over dale, as we hit the dusty trail, and the case
sing along with us, and it continues to be our honor to invite Major Dr. Lang back here to lead us all in a very special prayer. Let us pray. Gracious and loving God, as we still ourselves in this moment, God, we say thank you for your love, for your grace, and for your mercy. We stand right now, God, in the gap for the veterans, for those who have died and those who have lived to tell the story. We ask your blessings upon our troops all over the world. Continue to be with us as we continue to serve. Continue to give us peace in our hearts and in our minds, knowing that love is the answer and love is the key that unlocks the door to a greater and brighter future. So we thank you, God, for how you love us. We thank you, God, for how you keep us. Amen. Amen. moving to America's White Table. This table honors the men and women who served in America's armed forces and were prisoners of war and those who are still missing and unaccounted for. They are una unable to be with their loved ones and families tonight, so we join together to pay our humble tribute to them and bear witness to their continued absence. The table is round to show our everlasting concern for our missing soldiers. The small table symbolizes one soldier's lonely battle against many. The tablecloth cloth is white, symbolizing the purity of their intentions to respond to their country's call to arms. The single red rose displayed in a vase reminds us of the life of each of the missing and the loved ones and friends of the Americans who keep the faith awaiting answers. The yellow ribbon on the vase represents the yellow ribbons worn on the lapels of the thousands who demand, with unyielding determination, a proper accounting of our comrades who are not among us tonight. The black napkin is a reminder of the isolation, deprivation, and cruel fate of our missing. The Bible represents the strength gained through faith to sustain those lost from our countries founded as one nation under God. A candle on the table represents the light in our hearts that accompanies the hope that they will one day find their way home. The empty chair tilted against the table is for missing soldiers and symbolizes a place is always waiting for them when they return. A slice of lemon on the bread plate is to remind us of the bitter fate of those captured and missing. A pinch of salt symbolizes the tears endured by those missing and the tears shed by their families who seek answers. The glass is inverted to symbolize their inability to share in this day's toast. You are not forgotten so long as there is one left in whom your memory remains.
Thank you so much for joining us today to honor and thank our veterans and their families. As we close, please join us in closing with a moment of silence in remembrance of those who were lost at war, unaccounted for, and who never came home.